MC Hammer, yes, that MC Hammer that your parents rave and reminisce about, was once the executive vice president of a real baseball team. So in the early 70s, owner Charles O. Finley was looking for someone to hire. One day after a regular season game, was walking out of the stadium, and who does he spot? Then named Stanley Burrell, who is break dancing with his friends and just having a good old time. And what does Finley do? He hires him on the spot, which I'm pretty sure violates most labor laws nowadays. It's actually Finley that gave MC Hammer the name Hammer in the first place, because Finley said that Burrell looked like Hammer and Hank Aaron, and eventually made his way up to play-by-play -play broadcaster so that he could relay the scores and the plays to Finley, who was living in Chicago, and essentially acted as an executive vice president by the age of 16.